It was a warm summer's day. I had been wandering around the local car boot sale, looking for games for my multitude of Nintendo consoles. I knew that what I saw at these sales had to be taken with a pinch of salt, because they can be home to cheap knockoffs and broken goods. So far, the haul today had been nothing short of disappointing. No games had been found, but I was lucky enough to obtain some Pokemon memorabilia, including a giant Pikachu plush and some old Nintendo magazines. I was ready to go home until I looked towards one of the stalls I walked past before. A glossy, black cartridge gleamed in the bright sunlight. I walked over to the stall, and to my delight, it was Pokemon Heart Gold, a copy of the very same game I lost a month earlier. Wait, I thought, as I examined the cartridge further. The cartridge had an American ESRB label on it, much like my own lost game. No. No, I'm just being paranoid, I thought to myself, almost saying the words out loud. I asked the seller how much he wanted for the game. The seller responded in an icy voice. Oh, you want that old piece of junk? I don't even want it anymore. Not after what it did to me. Are you sure you want this game? Yes, I politely chimed in. Well, for this game, I guess I'll give it to you for free. Just beware of the consequences. The seller then turned away as I picked up my new game. I could have sworn that as I walked away, he collapsed to the floor in a sobbing heap. Soon afterwards, the sky turned dark and full of foreboding thunderclouds. I ran home, as not to be caught in the incoming rainstorm. As soon as I arrived, I threw myself onto my bed, pulled out my old black DS light, the thing was battered quite a lot, and inserted the cartridge. The beloved console rolled into life, but oddly enough, the main menu didn't display. Wait, I'm pretty sure I didn't set my DS to automatically play games, I said out loud. Well, that was the least of my worries. I was promptly met with a black screen. I knew it. I knew this was a knockoff. My disappointment was quickly put to one side when I examined the black screen again. A white line was curving around the screen, almost as if someone was drawing with a stylus. But this line eventually connected with others to form the word "why," albeit in a very shaky form, as if the writer was on the very verge of insanity. A text box formed at the bottom of the screen, further inducing my confusion. Master? Where are you? I'm afraid of the dark. It's so dark. 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 At this point, a very unnerving sound was emitted from the speakers. I couldn't truly explain what it was, but it was very similar to the sound of a sword slashing through flesh. At this point, the lines of white on the DS screen converged together, forming a binding light that enveloped me in the room completely. I fell off my bed, which left me in a dazed heap on the floor, due to my bed being about two metres tall. I fumbled my way back up the ladder and collapsed onto the blue duvet in sheets. I looked back to the DS, and to my terrified surprise, I was greeted with the sprite of what looked like Meganium. I swear with all my life that this creature will forever prowl my subconscious and destroy my dreams. This Meganium looked like something out of a horror movie. Across the side of its neck was a large sash which bled gratuitously. The large flower around Meganium's neck was rotten and full of holes, with what I could assume was sap pouring out. One of the Pokemon's eyes was sewn shut, but it was heavily bleeding, staining the black threads a deep crimson. Painted halfway down this poor creature's neck was a heart, broken and blackened. The one eye that hadn't been stitched was completely blank and glazed over. But what was perhaps the most shocking was this beast's smile. Meganium's mouth was full of razor-sharp teeth, which were coated in a layer of blood. The text box returned. Oh, hello, master. Or should I say, the monster? Why did you have to leave me here all alone in the dark? I realised the truth. This wasn't a used game. It was my game. Yes, this was the one I had lost all those weeks ago. I condemned Meganium and the rest of my team to death. I had essentially left them all for dead. Please! I was shedding tears as I spoke into the microphone. It was only an accident. Surely you could forgive me. Not even Arceus can help you now, the Meganium said as the text box glitched up. Now, it is time for you to truly understand my power. I was instantly thrown into a battle against the deformed Pokemon. To my surprise, I had five Pokemon in my team, which turned out to be the rest of my team of Pokemon. I sent out my shiny Flygon, but as his animation played, he appeared to turn around to the camera with tears in his rage-filled eyes. 
At this point, the game simply went on without me, and the battle continued. Flygon feels Meganium's pain. Flygon's crying intensified. Meganium is dismember. Multiple slash animations played across the screen, centering on Flygon. I covered my eyes as the screen was splashed with red. This continued until all five of my opponent were gone. My own trainer joined the fright, but he looked very different. His left eye was sewn shut, and he had a look of utter shock and fear on his face. Now, puny trainer, you will forever regret my torture. Oh no, you don't! I screamed, tears strewn across my face. I threw the DS at the wall, and it closed up. I cautiously approached the DS, which now had its power shut off. Strangely enough, the cartridge was intact. With a shaking hand, I switched on power. The main menu did display, and I selected Pokemon Heart Gold. The save file has been deleted, due to the data being corrupt. Please select a new game from the menu. I'm pretty sure that I heard Meganium's cry as the screen faded away.